We got word today that Vladimir Putin is at it again. This time, the Russians are cutting a deal with Iran to build some nuclear reactors. Meantime, Russia could soon build as many as eight nuclear reactors for the Iranians. That's according to the Reuters news agency, which now reports it's spoken with sources close to the negotiations. The details are still pretty scarce, but the deal would reportedly bring two new reactors to Iran's only operating nuclear power plant, a facility that Russia helped build in the first place. Now keep in mind, Russia is one of the six nations involved in talks with Iran over its disputed nuclear program. Iran, of course, has resisted demands from the United States and other Western nations to scale back its secretive nuclear program. Iranian officials say it's for peaceful purposes only, energy and the like. Dip diplomats now say they expect an upcoming report from the United Nations Nuclear Agency will show that Iran is ending some nuclear activities. Michael Singh joins us now. He's a former special assistant to Secretaries of State Condoleezza Rice and Colin Powell. He's currently the managing director of the Washington Institute and joins us live. What are we to make of this, Michael? Well, Shep, uh, first of all, it's important to note that uh, these, this report talks about plans. Nothing is actually yeah. signed yet. Um, and it's Russia that gave Iran its first nuclear reactor. Actually, the Russians sort of picked it up from the Germans uh, somewhere along the way. It took decades to build. Um, and the West is not really uh, specifically against the idea of Russia uh, or any other country providing civilian nuclear power to Iran. The big question, Shep, is why does Iran really want this? Because Iran, remember, is a country with massive reserves of uh, natural gas and oil um, and no real sort of need for nuclear power per se. And I think there's a suspicion that this is really just a pretext for Iran to uh, argue that it needs a big centrifuge program, which is right now the key sticking point in the nuclear talks. Well, that, that's clearly what the United States thinks, but, but how in the world do you stop it? That, that, that's a more difficult question. Well, I, I think that stopping the sort of sale of these plants or stopping the contract from going forward is one thing. But I think what the U.S. will do uh, is reject the argument by Iran that because it's uh, mulling this deal, or even if it signs this deal, that means now it's justified for it to, to not only keep its 19,000 centrifuges it already has, but to increase that to 50,000 centrifuges, which is what Iran has asked uh, to do. Uh, we'd like Iran to reduce its number of centrifuges to 1,000 or even hundreds of centrifuges. And the Iranians kill time because what they need is time to get to where they want to be. And the more time they get, the worse it is for everybody. Well, that's absolutely right. And, and uh, right now the negotiations have given Iran a lot of uh, breathing space and we've seen Iran using that breathing space to go out and try to sign deals like this one or sign oil deals uh, also uh, perhaps with Russia or with others. Uh, and so far the Iranians uh, have, have made pretty good use of that. And I think the, the key thing now is to make sure that uh, this doesn't drag on into the future uh, simply in perpetuity. We'll watch it. Michael Singh, thank you, sir.